This is it folks, the wait is over, Airshow is back. No sooner had I uploaded a video about it coming back, when the developer then tweeted that it was back. So let's go and test it. Just in case you are new to this, here's what you need to do. Go to a web browser and type in the following web address, which is cherryroad.xyz forward slash airshow, and then press go. That will ask you whether or not you want to install Airshow, which you obviously do. And when you tap the install button, it should install on your home screen like any other application from the App Store. Once the application is installed, don't run it straight away because you're going to hit this error, which is the untrusted developer error. In order to fix this, you will need to go to the settings on your iOS device, go to the general screen, scroll down to profile and device management, and then tap on this certificate. Tap the blue trust word and then tap on the red trust button on the pop-up. Once that certificate is trusted, you should be able to launch Airshow like any other application on your iOS device. Boom. Here are a couple of things to point out. There is now a new message that comes up when you launch the application which says that it is an enterprise program and the certificate may get revoked just like we've all suffered over the last week. So when you do do screen recordings, make sure you save them to the camera roll immediately and I'll show you how to do that later on in the video. You may have also noticed that there is no login screen anymore, so it looks as if the application works without any login details required, which is excellent news. I'm just going to speed up the video now while I do a test recording on Airshow to make sure that it still works. And while it's going through this process, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to all the viewers, new subscribers and commenters who have been following my videos since Airshow went down last week. It's been fantastic for all your support. Anyway, back to the recording. So as Airshow tells you, what you need to do now is immediately save your video to the camera roll. So tap on the top right hand corner of the screen, tap on the video and then save in the camera roll. So that means that in case Airshow collapses again, you're not going to lose your videos. And this is the proof we needed, the direct recording of what I've just done. We can go back to the tweet and see that Show is telling us Airshow is back up and running as recorded by Airshow. Now I will be doing loads more coverage on iOS screen recorders in the future since you've all joined this channel to find out information about them, so stay in touch. If you want to know anything specifically, drop comments in my videos and I'll try and look at doing videos on those particular topics in the future. It just leaves me to say now thank you very much for joining the Video Gadgets Journal. I hope this has helped you. It's been a wonderful adventure this last week talking to you all and getting Airshow working again and I'll see you soon. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now.